Uh, this there with Ag Diesel Solutions, we're uh, getting ready to do an install on the 9770 STS John Deere Combine. Uh, this combine in particular has the 9 liter tier 3 Powertech John Deere engine. Uh, the module we're going to be installing is the JD2800 injector driver module. Uh, just go over a couple things before uh, we do the install. Always make sure that the master switch is turned off. You want to make sure that the electrical system is dead. Uh, it just wants to protect you and the module itself and the piece of equipment you're working on. Always make sure you have good secure connections. Keep everything away from moving components, high heat. Uh, also, a touch base on this module. The injector plug is very, very fragile and very sensitive. This is one of our most uh, fragile plugs out of any application for any of our modules. We'll do that uh, a little bit further. We'll touch base on that with how to properly install that without damaging it. Uh, but stay tuned for further installation guides and instructions. We're now ready to do an install. Uh, we've got all the plugs loose, which would be your map sensor and your fuel injector plug. Uh, your fuel injector plug, as you're looking on a combine perspective, it's going to be facing towards you in the engine compartment. In a tractor perspective, it's going to be on the right-hand side of the engine. But your injector plug is located up on top of the head. You can see your high-pressure common rail system here. The plug is going to be sticking out of the head facing towards you. It's round. Uh, as we said, this is, plug is very sensitive. Uh, we've seen guys try to take channel locks and get that plug to rotate, but from the factory, John Deere will put a locking tab on it. It's red. Just cut that tab. That way it'll allow that to spin freely and loosen up where you can get it off the head. Uh, so we got that loose. And then your installation instructions, it shows you where the map sensor is located as well. On a tractor or a combine, it's going to be right next to the turbo. Uh, and the engine compartment on my combine is going to be on the left hand side. Of course, you can see the turbo down there. It's going to be three pin. It's got a yellow grommet on it. That's your map sensor. Of course, you can see on the engine side it's male. Of course, on the map sensor we were talking about, uh, as you can see on the engine side it's male. Harness side female from the factory perspective. It's just a simple uh, clip as such. It's got a tab on the actual map sensor itself, just release that. And now we'll follow through and go through step by step on... We're now ready to uh, plug in the injector portion of our harness. As you can tell in your installation instructions, it's very crucial to be careful when doing this. It's a very sensitive plug. But in the installation instructions, you'll see it has a white guideline. Make sure when getting ready to install this plug that the collar and the harness portion is lined up white line with white line. You don't want it off kilter like such. You don't want it not in place because that's going to affect the way it locks on the factory harness of the combine itself. So we'll now take the female portion and plug it directly into the head of the combine. And before we start uh, our discussion on the map sensor uh, connection, we want to touch base on something too. It's always easier, especially on the John Deere combines, to swing the loading auger out that way you can get full access to the engine compartment. Uh, but you can see we got our injector plug connected. Uh, one thing that you'll note on that injector plug as well, always make sure that those two prongs on the harness line up into the factory harness. You can see as you take it out, there's two uh, plastic uh, alignment pins. Make sure those go into the openings on the factory harness. Uh, once you uh, tighten that plug, it may not look like it's going to go in all the way, but it'll only turn about, I don't know, a sixteenth of a turn. Uh, on that injector plug and once it's snug don't do any more we don't want to damage those pins as I stated earlier uh, but we finished that installation now we ran the harness up uh, along the factory wiring harness the main loom on the engine up to the map sensor as you can tell we got it plugged in simple click and snap uh, very easy uh, we'll now follow up on running our power and ground strap to the starter on the back side of the engine which uh, on that starter, those nuts should be 18 millimeter. You can get it with a simple half inch drive, 3 h drive, whatever works best for you. Uh, but we'll uh, do that next. Uh, we're now ready to install the power and ground straps on the starter. Uh, on most John Deere applications, especially combines, you're going to find that on the studs for the power and the ground on the starter, they're going to have a main nut holding the straps on for the electrical system, and you're going to have a jam nut. What we do is it's just a lot easier to take the jam nut off and uh, put our terminals in between the jam nut and the main nut on the stud itself. Um, there's no need in taking both off. It's just a little bit more cumbersome. But as I said, these are 18 millimeter. So we got our ground strap off now. Or, I'm sorry, our power strap. So we're going to go to that first. 